hard to get psyched up. I don't want to get wet. Maybe I should actually go that direction. <laughs> Might not even get wet if I go down there a bit. But we're at a place that special things happen, so we better get out there before all the boats start streaming out. Ugh. Okay, time to get wet. Okay, thanks for the splashdown. It's a bit of paddling, making up for it. Not feeling so cold now that I'm moving. And we're out, so I'm happy enough, I guess. <clears throat> Lovely. Look at this water though. Very nice. Let's get set up. Hey, Cook Island. Haven't been here for quite a while. It's always so nice. Yeah. As long as that wind stays down, should be a cracker of a morning. Quick snapper. And then go home. <laughs> big mackerel, big tuna. Over winter isn't unheard of here, so if we're really lucky, we may get, you know, something special happen. But, say that a lot at five days and a lot of the time nothing happens, so. <laughs> confidence, let's keep the confidence high. Oh, and let's hurry up, because I gotta get out past that island before we can really start fishing. This makes life nice and easy. Big school of bait, nice and close. Oh, missed him though. Like crazy big school of bait. <laughs> Look at that, whoa, here we go. I don't know if you can see the sound of from here, but we'll get this guy in first. And it's nice when you get bait here because it means that they're generally yakkers, they're not those silly butterfly kind of uh, mono things. Or butterfish or whatever they call them. Oh, geez, buddy. All right, mate. Put him in the side of the head there. Just making him go bananas. But yeah, look at that. Now there's some bait. Well, we've got a pike on the tail there. <laughs> oh, all right, mate, all right. Come on. All right, you can go back in, mate. Don't really want you. Might head back over that school a bit more. I've got a feeling these might all be pike. Ah, oh, we'll have one drop on it. See what happens. <laughs> it's getting thicker again. Oh, and they're hitting on the other side there. Oh, it's getting real thick now. Come on, don't be pike. If it is pike, we'll have to head back. There we go. Nice yakka. Beauty. Oh, feels like something's having to go at my uh, plastic at the back as well. I just had it dangling out the back just for a bit of fun. Let's see what we got. <laughs> what is it going to be? Oh, big pike. <laughs> All right, mate. We'll get you up. Jeez, you swallowed it. Look, it's coming out your gills and everything. Oh. All right, we might need pliers for that. These guys are a little bit toothy. Come here, mate. Come here. I'll get you out. I'll get you sorted. He's almost worth keeping. He's pretty big. Big Spanishy grab him. Ooh, we might think about that actually. Jeez, look at that hook. It's right down the gob. Yeah, alright. That came off alright. Dump that back there. A few more small baits. Oh, we've got the chance. 
Cool, we got bait though. Should be a good day. Oh, turn the camera back on. Slimies. Oh, a special day. It's always good when you get a slimy. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's a good bait. That's prime bait right there. Oh, look at this score. Maybe I'll get that pike out because I don't want him if that's just what's going down. See ya, pike. I don't want you. I want these slimies. If there is more, it's a yucca. Take him for a second. Might just go back over that and see if we can get a few more slimies. Because that is pretty... That will make a difference. Where's that big school? Let's find him again. Okay, now we're getting yuckers again. Jeez, we've got a, quite a few slimies there. Maybe, you know, maybe four or five. And I'm sure we could get more. But I've got to drag myself away from it just because... Look, we can always try and come back later on. If fishing fails, we'll just be going, making a bait mission. But, uh, yeah, look, I really should be trying to catch something to eat for dinner. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll drag it. Yeah, come on, call it. Oh, one more drop, hey, one more. Look at that. We're still over it. Last drop, and then this is it. You know, I better start sorting out the guys in there because it looks like we've overloaded with uh, a few things. <laughs> yakas and slimies there, so we'll weed out the yakas. That's weird. How could I not get a hook over then? I'm right in the thick of it. Anyway, that's a sign. Come on. Finish with the bait. Let's get out of here. All right, there's one. <laughs> Because I don't want my yakas taking up breathing space, unfortunately. Here's another one. Oh, come on. I know I put more than that in there. Come on. There's one. Get him out. Here's another one. Oh. Alright. I guess that'll do. Okay, so we got the bait, and uh, I better get out there, but um, yeah, special things happen with slimies, so, oh, it's so tempting, look, there's more bait. Anyway, we'll come back through later on, and if we haven't caught a big fish, we'll load up on bait. Maybe they'll still be here, if I'm lucky. Anyway, we better get moving, get these, uh, get the water flowing through the live bait well, keep these guys happy. Oh, look how much bait. All right, let's go. Get out there and get a big one. All right, so we're coming out to a mark. That was probably wide, oh, about an eight minute paddle out. But we'll get a live here on now. Hopefully that troller doesn't come through this gap. It's a huge troller sort of heading in. Sometimes they decide to take this route closer in to avoid the boats out wide, but that would be annoying for me. <sighs> So we'll just have to wait and find out as he gets closer. He definitely seems to be heading this way. <laughs> anyway, we're getting to a uh, nice part of the reef. Look at that. That is prime bait. So what are we going to do with him? Through the nose, through the back. Maybe through the nose. He might troll a bit better through the nose today. Oh, sorry, mate. All right, cool. Off you go, mate. Whew, he is off, straight to the bottom. So <laughs> you can see him take off on the sounder there. I'll give him uh, a little bit of leeway. How much are we gonna give him? Jeez, he's going straight to the bottom. Maybe that's about enough. It's about all we can afford at the moment. I'll get my snapper rod in and start dropping. Look at that troller, getting closer. There's plenty of current. I'm getting swept down that way pretty quick by the feeling of it. Anyway, see if we can get a snapper straight off the bat. And then we have to freak out because this troller is looming. Yeah, 
Here's the boat. Nice to see him going to the side. <laughs> Whoa, All right, let's set some hooks, something very fast has just taken this, wow, what is this, finally the slimy has come through, let's just get some line back, it's not a go too hard at this stage, very big fast runs at the beginning there. Great. Ooh, it's got some power. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Let's just let him take me for a ride. I don't want to go too hard. Whatever it is, seeing some interesting turns here. Taking me out to sea now. <laughs> At that speed, I don't think it's going to be a shark, but he's, he was quite close in and took it very fast. What is this going to be? Please be a winter Spanish or something. Very happy about this though. Crazy fast runs. What's it going to be? Oh, he's thinking about going for a run. Please don't be a shark. Oh, big head shakes now. Oh, here we go. What is it? Oh. I want to get a look at him. Let's take it easy. <laughs> Give myself a pep talk. is this? Please be a Spanish. Could be a Spanish. Fast runs, fighting deep now though. Keep it away from the boat. Oh. Could be a Mac tuna as well. Doesn't seem to be bouncing up. Oh. He's definitely going backwards now. Let's get this uh, plastic right up out of the way. Turning me around. <laughs> okay, come on. I guess I've got to put at least some hurt on him to get him up. Give me a look. Oh, we should keep going, stop going back that way. What is that? It's a silver fish. Doesn't look like a shark, which is good. Could be a Spanish. Late Spanish. Fighting it down deep. What is that? What is that? It is a big Spanish, I think. Oh, come on. My leader's stuck on there. 
Let's get the gaff out, eh? <laughs> Ooh, it's not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Big winter Spanish. Wow. Oh, look at this. my lucky day, obviously. If I could just get my leader knot in here. Yeah, there we go. Leader was getting caught on the edge there. Big winter Spanish. Look at that. Wow. Let's get him close. Oh, let's not stuff this up. Oh, he's pretty big. Chunky. I've got a gaff in him. I'm not very confident about my way I've done it. That is a very fat Spanish and a very nice fish for winter. Okay, let's just get this rod out of the way for a sec. Let's not go for a swim, eh? It's a big fish. What a fish. Big Spanish hiding in the shallows, eh? The slimies came through where special things happen, eh, Fido's? So big Spanish. Might as well pop another slimy out and sort of work that area. You never know what could happen. So, that is a very special fish. <laughs> All right, I'm just pumped. Wasn't expecting that. I was struggling to get even a snapper. I was like, oh man, that's all over. This is not going to happen at all. <laughs> but, very nice. Big. All right. See if we can get another one, just for fun. Just because we've got such good bait. Let's get another one. Don't care who you are. Very few fish can resist one of these guys. Oh, I probably should tie my rig on first. I'll <laughs> put him back in. Oh, did he get off this time? Oh, he got off. Good hit though. What happened there? Oh, pulled off somehow. Big hit though. <laughs> All right, how many more slimers have I got? I was pretty close to where I was last time and I saw like a light bar, but I couldn't quite tell if I thought it was a Spanish kind of thing or not. Oh, mate. Just marked it, but look at that. There's some serious bars coming through. Can I see anything under there? Oh, mate, there's big fish under me right now. Oh, my God, look at the size of them. There's Spanish everywhere down there. I don't know if you'll be able to see him on the camera, but. I am sitting directly on top of a massive school of Spanish by the looks of things. Let's just drop one down. Let's just drop it. We'll drop another uh, bait down and we'll see what happens. My rig's a bit uh, bent, but we'll deal with that. I think they'll hit anything if I'm this close to them and I know exactly where they are. Okay, let's just zoom right in. Mark five, four, six. Heaps of Spanish. Mate, look at them. There's arches and bars everywhere. <laughs> hey, what am I going in there for? Need bait. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> it's you. Good luck. You're in for the ride of a lifetime. Oh. Um. Oh. Just put that up there for a sec. I'll have to detangle. Hopefully nothing grabs it now, because I'll be in big, big trouble. Okay. There we go. <sighs> Oh, 
I think something's got him, but he doesn't realize it yet. Oh, there it goes. Oh. What was that? Have we got him on? What have we got? Have we got something small here? Something's just come up and grabbed him. What have we got? Oh, hang on. <laughs> Can't make up my mind if it's tiny or big. What grabbed him? Whoa, there we go. I think it's a Spanish. He doesn't realise he's been hooked yet properly. Okay. <laughs> I think he's still with the school. He doesn't realise just how hooked he is or what's going on. It's just a little one, maybe. Hoi. Oh. Oi. Just a little guy. Oh, well, we've had some fun today, eh? I think we'll let this guy go, if we can get him in. Is it a doggy or a Spanish? It's like a doggy. Jeez, he must have grabbed it on the way down pretty quick. It's not a bad doggy. Oh, man, what a morning. You could probably use this guy as bait, like a big Spanish like the other one there. We'll just easily clean this guy up in seconds. So, the mackerel are on though, far out. Oh, how's that? I feel sort of sorry, all these boats are taking off and they're obviously, I don't know, maybe they're cleaning up as well, but just this little spot here is very mackerel-y. And uh, as much as I love catching a snapper, yeah, when I'm hungry, I think mackerel, and when it comes to the fight, mackerel are pretty impressive fish. So uh, I'll take a winter mackerel any day. But, time to head in. Uh, I reckon if I had more time, I've still got two slimies and a yakka. I reckon I could easily get another one if I had time, but better go in before it gets too crazy. There's whales over here jumping up a storm. It's been a pretty glorious day in the end, so turns out Fido's is the place where special things happen. Oh, there's another whale over there. All right, let's head in. See ya on the next video.